Dziękuję bardzo. Thank you very much indeed. The next speaker is Siegfried Mureshan. You have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. President, Vice President Dombrovskis, dear colleagues. Fiscal discipline is obviously an essential tool for the success of a union of 27 member states which share a common single market and a common currency. Only by maintaining a balanced budget can a country increase its resilience to face an economic downturn or a financial crisis. Fiscal rules make our economy stronger, not weaker. Having a balanced budget means to have more fiscal space when it is needed. It means to have funds available to implement structural reforms, not only in bad times, but in good times. The time to repair the roof is always when the, shun when the sun is shining. My country, Romania, is part of the fiscal compact since the beginning. Joining it was the correct decision to, uh, was the right thing to do, was the correct decision. And let me exp explain briefly why. The actions of the current government of the country make clear why the fiscal compact is necessary and why it protects our citizens for irresponsible governance <clears throat> at national level sometimes. In, in Romania, the debt to GDP ratio has increased by four percentage points from 37 to 41 percent of GDP over the course of less than two years and structural deficit has increased from 0.6 percentage points of GDP to more than three percentage points. Due to the significant deviations from the budgetary medium-term objective, the Commission issued a warning. The Council followed. In the case of any country that does not comply with the provisions, the Commission or any other country can take the case to the Court of Justice. The last step is, of course, the imposition of sanctions. These current developments in any member state highlight the importance of respecting EU fiscal rules and the importance of imposing them on governments that, <coughs> that sometimes only work for, for short-term objectives. Otherwise, who will carry the burden of the increasing deficit and debt in, in any member state? Certainly not the current government which just happens to be in office, which will have been voted out until <coughs> the time when, when debt is coming to maturity, and then it will be the younger generations who will, who, will, who will have to shoulder this debt and who will have less options for the future than the previous generations. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, there was a blue card question, but this is a debate on a topical issue, which means there's no uh, blue cards, no catch the eye. And I give the floor to the next speaker, Mr. Bayer.